my role as Los Angeles City Controller is to, in many ways, oversee a lot of the spending of the City of Los Angeles. We also have a waste, fraud, and abuse unit. We do auditing, uh, financial and performance audits of all of the various departments of the city. Uh, we prepare the financial reports and we do the economic forecasting for the city as well. So anything having to do with the money of the city in one way or another comes through the controller's office. But among the things that we have put up recently is a COVID resource hub. And there are, of course, a lot of different websites with information about resources, but we wanted to organize it in a different way. And so we have really easy to use boxes that anybody can click on. So for example, if you are a freelancer or if you are a property owner or if you are a renter, if you're a small business person, if you're a senior, there's a box for you to click on with resources that are specific to you. And of course, in many cases, there are many boxes that might apply to you, but this is meant to be an easy way to organize that information so that it's readily accessible. We have the virtual checkbook of the city. Every single dollar that has been spent over the course of the last 10 years, you can search by word, you can search by vendor. We have to pay for each and every single employee who works for the city, payroll period by payroll period, and how much of that is base pay, how much of it is overtime, how much of it is bonus pay, how much of it is related to various kinds of other compensation. And we have all of the special funds in the city, and there are hundreds of them, and we keep track of that accounting in real time. And let's be honest, there are a lot of reasons that people don't often feel very trusting of their government. And we've had our problems here in Los Angeles. And so the role of the controller is to expose all of the information of the city so that people are accountable.